Hello there. I hope this editor's note of mine finds you well. I am just going to dive right in. All right. So anyone who knows me knows Start With Why is among my favorite books of all time, and it's authored by Simon Sinek. It's also one of my favorite quotes. I've actually made it my personal philosophy to always start with why. The phrase is even on my LinkedIn bio, and I am a bit of a nerd about it. But as I embark on this journey as editor of r and Diving into a brand new industry with everything to learn, starting with why is ever important, I feel. Like knowing my and r and R's why informs what we do and how we do it. It serves really as a compass and a strategic lens through which we make everyday decisions. And as someone who easily falls into the trap of overcomplicating and overanalyzing, I always find that a clear purpose provides clarity, and it naturally points me to my next steps and helps me lay that path forward without overwhelming amounts of brain power, at least. All of that said, we recently revisited our mission statement, and here's our new one-line why I want to share with you. To help restoration professionals better serve their customers. There's more to the statement, including empowering restoration professionals to reach their fullest potential and providing actionable insights, among other things. Suffice to say, you are our why. We exist to help you fulfill on your purpose. Now enter empathy, which I know is a buzzword these days in the business world, but empathy really is super important. Is the one responsible for setting the editorial direction of R&R, I think it's oh so critical for me to get to know you all and well, because only with a deep understanding of your needs and aspirations can I effectively deliver quality content that helps you thrive. And this brings me to the what. Um, Of course, it's not the only what uh, my to-do list suggests otherwise, but it's the what that I guess I consider foundational to R&R success in serving you as I get my footing. Because as the authors of The One Thing, yes, another one of my favorite books <laughs> would put it, it's the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier. That is an unending pursuit of you guys, an unending tour of this industry in which I simply talk to the people in it. Familiarizing myself with your biggest questions, challenges, areas of opportunity, etc. And as I engage in these conversations, no doubt, there will be great stories told. There already have been in the conversations I've had. And they're so rich, not only with inspiration and valuable takeaways that I benefit from, but that fellow restoration industry pros benefit from. So finally, the how. I am excited to expand on our popular Ask the Expert series with a subseries called Real Stories in Restoration. Ask the Expert, as you know it, will remain covering timely topics and and featuring industry leaders. It'll simply stretch to also include your stories, the journeys of the people in restoration, how you got here, the work you do, the tools you use, lessons learned, memorable projects, um, advice for industry peers, all of that. So I invite you to join me in sharing your why, your what, and your how, and helping others learn in the process. So if you're interested in sharing your real story in restoration, no matter where you sit in the industry or your level, please reach out to me, kingv at bnpmedia.com. I'm looking very forward to getting to know you all and to sharing that with everyone else in the process. P.S., in addition to connecting via Zoom calls and industry events, and speaking of real, um, I'm all about riding along with restoration contractors to gain real life exposure to the work this industry does. So if you provide services in Southeast Michigan, which is where I'm based, or a surrounding area, and you're open to me being a fly on the wall, please shoot me an email. I would be so, so thrilled and so appreciative of of an opportunity like that. All right, that is truly all for this time around. In the meantime, take care and talk soon.